Hello and welcome to Automotive Diagnosis YouTube channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to check the CAN bus network using a multimeter, and here I am going to test it with a picoscope. Let's start. CAN bus network is designed to minimize the wiring used in the car and bring more reliability with the high-speed data transfer. Different types of CAN bus have been used in the cars, like powertrain CAN, body CAN, or multimedia CAN. This diagnostic video is only applicable on the high-speed CAN which is called C-CAN or powertrain CAN. Normally engine, transmission, ABS, for WD, electric power steering and a couple of other units are connected through this CAN bus. The easiest way to check the CAN bus is at OBD2 connectors. As you see there is one pin for the CAN high and another one for CAN low. So we can check the CAN bus from here. But you must know that in some cars, there is a specific CAN bus for the scan tool, called DCAN or Diagnostic CAN, which may give you a different reading, as it is not connected directly to the powertrain CAN. So in this case, you must check the CAN bus from another place like the ECM wiring. As you know, there are two wires in the CAN bus. CAN high and CAN low. Voltage in the CAN high starts from 2.5 volt and goes up to 3.5 volt. While voltage in CAN low starts from 2.5 volt and goes down to 1.5 volt. This voltage change happens very fast, so if you are taking the measurement with the multimeter, you will read the average voltage, which is about 2.6 volt for the CAN high and about 2.4 volt for the CAN low. But PicoScope will give you an accurate measurement. This is the PicoScope that I'm using today. I connect the red probe to the CAN high and the black one to the body ground. Then I start the engine to get the waveform. You can adjust the voltage to plus or minus 5 volt. So this is the CAN high waveform. Unlike the multimeter that shows the average voltage, here you see that CAN high starts from 2.5 volt and goes up to 3.5 volt. Having the waveform also shows that CAN bus is working. Let's move the red probe to Canlo to see how this waveform will change. As you see, waveform is changed now. And we see that waveform in Canlo starts from 2.5 volt and goes down to 1.5. But how will it change if we have any problem on CAN bus? Let's make a fault and check the results. Although CAN bus is designed to work efficiently and reliably in different environment, some electrical faults can lead to serious impacts on CAN bus operation. So, I'm going to make a short to ground on just one wire at the CAN bus, like CAN high. Then we will see how it affects CAN high and CAN low. So, here I got the normal waveform on the CAN high, and I am going to make a short to ground right here on the CAN high. As you see, as soon as short to ground happens, waveform will drop to something close to zero that you see here. Now, let's check the waveform on the can low, while we still have the short to ground on the can high. Interestingly, that fault on the CAN high has affected the CAN low as well and waveform has been dropped to about zero. And if I fix the short to ground on the CAN high, waveform on the CAN low will be back to normal again.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel for many more diagnostics videos.